I'm at the Venice Boardwalk right now. Hi. I love your room. Fly, go fly. Yes. A change in my life that's coming up and I don't really know my exact options. I like get anxious about it. And we're at Joe Bricks. <laughs> <laughs> just recorded a solo. Lady Gaga's makeup brand just stamped me. This lighting is everything. What'd you need, honey? It made me sick. Hi guys, welcome to a week in my life vlog, I think. I'm going to the gyna. So come with me to the gyna. Woo! This is your mid-20s. Look forward to it. Let's forky go. Even though I don't want to carry this, I need to drink my water because I feel like I'm behind in my water already this morning. So we're bringing it. And I'm going to the gynecologist is because I am out the of the destination my... is on your right. Okay. Doc the reason I'm going to the dermatologist is or dermatologist. Good God. Gynecologist all over the place. It's because I'm out of my prescription refills for my birth control and I need my birth control for things, but also need it because if I don't have it, like my birth control really helps with acne. What the hell's going on? Patient and visitor parking is a new way. So I have to go for like basically an annual checkup and then I always get please hold the checkup with things pap smear breast check all of those things and the reason i'm vlogging this is because i know it's like pretty personal but i don't really give a shit this is your sign if you are in your 20s and you haven't done this yet this year just book the appointment because if you have it booked then you'll actually go i feel like a lot of women I know that struggle with health issues or found out later on in life that they had a health issue, they regret not going to their annual checkup. And luckily I just feel like I come from a family that is really, really on it when it comes to medical things and like health stuff. And like, it's annoying as hell. Like I had to like, cause I just got my own insurance, you know, this year and I had to can you relax? I had to change all of my current doctors over to my health insurance and it's just shit that's a pain in the and makes you not want to go and not do the damn thing. But we're doing the damn thing mainly because I need to because of the birth control. But this is your sign. Just do it. You'll thank yourself later and it's better to find out if there is any complications. It's better to find out about it before it becomes a bigger issue than it already is. I gotta go. Love you. Okay guys, I just finished my gyno appointment and it literally couldn't have been quicker. I'm headed home to literally just film, edit, upload, film, edit, upload. Not sure what I want to do for my workout yet. Kind of craving a run, so we'll see. Great news y'all. I'm already at 13k step and I'm almost at six miles, which I'm trying to get to 17k steps, so we're pretty close. Only 4,000 more, which is about what? Two miles? I'm not sure. Does anyone know how many steps it takes to get to a mile? That is something I'm unaware of at this moment in time. I feel like I've talked to you guys about this a little bit, especially like last year, but moving into this year, I am definitely in my saving girl era. I'm just over the stuff. I'm over the things. I'm over the excess spending. To be completely honest, like I need to not be spending. Like I need to be saving more. I'm going to be moving soon. I think I'm getting a new car soon. I don't know what the dealio is, but I need to be saving. I've been trying to find new tools, new ways to budget. Thank goodness my good friend Brooke Michio told me about Rocket Money. I actually can't believe that this video is sponsored by them because I've been using it like every couple of days since the new year. Rocket Money makes it a breeze. I have never signed up or used an app that has to do with budgeting that has been this easy. My favorite thing about it is that when I attach my bank accounts or my credit cards it takes i'm not kidding you under 10 minutes under 10 minutes when i tell y'all in the last month i have saved probably over a couple thousand dollars because i have removed myself from so many different subscriptions because of rocket money that i didn't even know i was a part of still it made me sick even when i click on certain things it tells me if my bill looks higher than average thing on my car insurance it literally says that this car insurance looks extra high compared to other companies thank you rocket money i'm looking at Zoom. Had no idea I was spending, oh my god, this makes me sick, $186 a month for Zoom. All I have to do is literally click on Zoom. It immediately has an email ready for me to send to cancel my subscription. Watch. Send. All you do is you download the app or you can do it on their website. I use both. I hate when my dad calls me and tells me to do something financial related. And it's so complicated. Why is everything so complicated? 
Rocket Money figured it out. It's not complicated. It's easy to understand. It breaks down your girl math. And I'm truly embarrassed that I wasn't using it earlier because I would probably have a lot more money in my bank account right now. Trust me, don't go another day without downloading this app. Even if you just download the app today and then insert all the stuff tomorrow, I'll put it in my description. It actually works. Rocket Money has helped save its customers an average of $740 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscription. To save more and spend less, join the over 5 million members using Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash Taylor King to click the link in the description to get started for free. You can also unlock more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash Taylor King to get started for free. I'm going on Lexi's Pick My Fit and I can't find the freaking earrings I wanna wear, but whatever. This is what I'm wearing. Just because I wanted to look like cute and professional and I'm podcasting afterwards, I'm probably gonna change the blazer because I've already worn this on a podcast. I just feel like this outfit represents me and where I'm at in life right now. And I think you should dress like how your style is for Pick My Fit. Also, I've literally been dying to go on, so I'm honored that she asked me. My top is from Zara. My blazer is from J. Crew. These are vintage Chanel. These are from my mom. Flea market, flea market, Amazon, good American. Product. You have a good mix of like high and low. That's literally like, I feel like the epitome of my style. You realized that someone- I embrace the mess. Okay, I am in Lexi's room. Hi. I love your room. She's coming on Pick My Fit. I told them, I was like, I've been begging. Yeah, no, I, I knew TK wanted this. So I want her to either dress me- I knew TK wanted this. <laughs> I wanted to. I was thinking either husband hunting, <gasps> dress me for the agency that I want to be. So. Okay, I like that. So, either, whatever. Really, this is really cool. Closet. Where's this from? Etsy. Shut up. Etsy. Yeah, it's so stunning in here. Because I'm like... I've Who's been your favorite guest and then favorite outfit? Okay, my favorite guest was Chloe Cherry. I mean, iconic. She is fun. fun. Y'all kind of look alike. I feel that. I, think <laughs> I she, feel like, that. I think she could be a sibling. Yeah. She's or like, like a cousin or well, yeah. Cousins, it's like, do you even have to look like your cousin? True. But it's like, there's a resemblance. There right? is. the same last name. Yeah. That I yeah. Like. Okay, favorite outfit. I really like Dean DeCrisio's outfit. He dressed me for a day in New York. Same. I think his was my fave. Wait, I thought you liked Sydney Carlson. His and Sydney's. Yeah. yeah. Sydney put me in like a little button down and jeans, like something very chic and simple. Dean is a professional stylist and you can tell in the way that he was messing with my collar yeah you want it to be up like this and you want the sleeves pulled down like this very detail oriented and then as far as like fully styled like crazy fits because lexi has some crazy friends with some crazy taste dean's was the coolest in my opinion but sydney's was the most like realistic and chic to me Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? And Chloe's was fun. She dressed me for Boiler Room, which was oh yeah, sort of like a dance party. And she see, I wouldn't know what to put you in for that. She had me in a little mini skirt. We used some glitter rope as a belt. Like we were, we were having fun. I loved it. I'm so excited. Da, 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 da. Those are cool. Where are those from? There's some Bottega Venerine boots. Shut up. <laughs> Puddle boots. You did not buy those. I did buy these. How much were those? I got them at the outlet. Oh good. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Oh, I don't even want to know how expensive those were. We can talk. <laughs> Read my closet and pick my fit. This is looking for. Read my closet and pick my fit. I know that this is better lighting, but I like the way it looks. Okay, guys. If you want to see TK pick out this outfit, go to Lexi's. Go to my Instagram. Okay? Do you I look, look so good? Like you would sign me. Don't I look like I would make you money? Yes. If you sign me. I'm a podcast host. I can voice act. I want you to be my agent. I, I look <laughs> like an agent. Truly. You do. I'm like, guys. But like a chicer agent. Come with me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, everybody here? This is Great. <laughs> okay. Red carpet. TK. TK, are you ready or not? Come on. Red carpet. Yeah. It's okay. the shades. It is. It's the shades. It's the little blazer. Like the cropped, yeah, the little bitchy blazer. That's what we call it. I bought this because I thought, you know when you're going out at night and it's a little chilly and you need a jacket, but you don't want to like ruin the dress? Yeah. I thought this would be the perfect. Well, it lets the rest of the outfit shine. Yeah, you're not covering it up with a trench coat, which time and place. But over top of some denim, I wasn't expecting to love it. As and I love I the do. boots. Like yeah. the boots are like cool, girl. Because if you did a heel, it would be like a little too corporate, I think. And I, it's really something about the shades too with it. It's Beverly Hills. Ugh, I don't look like I live in Silver Lake. That's yeah. a damn sure. <laughs> she thank you. a lot of Silver Lake. Thank no, you, thank, thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. the episode. It'll be up on Friday. I don't know when this vlog is going. Oh, on. this Friday? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, amazing. It'll be out before my vlog's up. Slay. Yay. And go watch the rest of them. They're like, my, it's my favorite series on Instagram right now. It's a good series. 
Lexi's using the iconic Katie Bilotti pad. Yeah. This thing's actually awesome. No, I love her stuff. Me too. I also have the daily one. Me too, I like the daily one a lot. <gasps> We're back on the carved tripod grind. That's crazy, it looks so good. I got a new car tripod and it's a little questionable, but like we'll see how it does when I'm driving. I am headed to a podcast. I just finished doing Pick My Fit at Lexi's, which was so nice because I don't know, anytime I like collab with another creator, it just always inspires me a ton. And Lexi is just so calming and helpful. She was just like giving me a lot of advice and tips that are like actually helpful. I'm headed to my own show now because I'm recording a solo episode, which I am actually excited about. I feel like I styled my merch kind of cute. It's like kind of giving St. Charles Hawks, which is like the Catholic school in my hometown, but it's also giving chic country club J. Crew. I hope it's leaning more towards the J. Crew side of things versus St. Charles Hawks, but it's like Hawks fly together. You know what I mean? <laughs> Forks up, by the way. Comment below a fork if you're watching this. So I know you're part of the Dirty Forkers. And if you're new here, subscribe so you don't miss out on future vlogs because I am back on my YouTube BS and it's so fun. I feel like I've just been like hanging out with a bunch of other creators and friends that have been inspiring me with YouTube just because I felt like I was like in a lull for a while. Mainly because this is like embarrassing to say, but whatever, I've said it before on the internet. I just like don't like looking at myself. I don't like editing myself, which is like not the best thing when you're a content creator. And I can deal with like TikToks because I feel like it's quick, but when it's YouTube and it's like long videos and I've been like embracing the long videos on YouTube, it's just like I, the last thing I wanna do is look at myself after I like lived that moment. I like pick myself apart, which I'm trying to get better at just like self love, live, laugh, love. I'm really hard on myself and I mean, I'm sure y'all are hard on yourselves too and understand. Like, you know when you take a bunch of photos for Instagram or something and then you like get them back and I feel like most people are excited to like look through them and like pick their fave. That is literally like my least favorite thing in the world. Like if I could just hire someone to like go through and be like, this is what looks best. Because if I look through all of them and like see all the bad ones, then I'll pick myself apart and I just like won't ever post it. <laughs> which is so sad. Honestly, I need to practice self-love a little more. If you guys have any tips for like self-acceptance, self-love type vibe on like how to actually, I, I wanna say like practice gratitude, but like practice self-love in your everyday life. Let me know what you guys like to do. I mean, I obviously know there's like affirmations and like things you can do like that. I'm also back on my workout grind officially, which it's like, I have technically been on my workout grind, but I've been doing the walking pad like crazy, which like it does count as a workout, but like I don't like it when that's my only workout I'm doing because I like getting out of the house or it's just like good for me. So this morning I went to core power yoga, which felt amazing. Like it was so effing hard and I was an idiot and wore a long sleeve top, which I don't know why I didn't do that. And normally when I wear a long sleeve, I'll wear like a shirt underneath it that I could like, so I could take the long sleeve off. But today I wore like this set actually top that's so cute but it's like a long sleeve where you like can't take it off and there's something underneath like it's like all attached anyway I was dripping sweat and like my face was getting so red and I was like am I about to pass out right now and I forking hate that feeling never gonna do that again wear a long sleeve to core power yoga it's it was like the hot sculpt class so really good workout if you are into heated classes I don't love a heated class but I do think it's good for me to go to core power and do a heated class like once a week or twice a week just so I can switch things up. Moral of the story is I'm so glad I went this morning because I feel great. Like the thing about exercising that I always forget about is that you would think it would like run you down but it actually gives you more energy and today I just feel better. I, I also am coming off my period and like this period y'all was a little scary. Like I get really like sad girl before right before my period starts. I hate that vibe. I hate feeling like down, super down on myself, a little depressy yes I don't know, I just hate that vibe. When I got my period, I was excited because I was like, oh great, I'm not insane. Driving to my podcast, it's so beautiful out. Today's podcast is like a little more of like a life update slash like personal episode. My most recent episodes have been a little bit more like self-help, educational, motivational vibes where like I have a whole outline and I have like research to back it up and like I love doing those. I'm just trusting my gut. I'm not in the mood to do that as much anymore. I kind of want to just do like a life update and get real and get personal with y'all. I don't know why this G-Wagon literally just 
went really fast so he could cut me off. Like, okay, we're literally in traffic. Like, I don't know what she's gonna do. Every time I have like a change in my life that's coming up and I don't really know my exact options, I like get anxious about it. Like, I don't like not knowing all the details, whether it's good or bad. Like, I hate the feeling of not knowing and feeling like out of the loop. Like that is one of my least favorite feelings ever. And I feel like I've been feeling that a lot lately with just like a lot of things in my life. My brother is in the midst of like deciding where he's going to live because he's been like applying to a bunch of different jobs and like, I'm really sad about it, but also really happy for him. Things are up in the air with that. My car lease, my lease on my apartment's coming up, so I don't know where I'm going to move, slash where I want to move, slash do I want to stay in Los Angeles? Like, I don't forking know. Things are up in the air with my, like, sh podcast right now, which is, like, stressing me out. I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of things up in the air, and I know it'll eventually be okay, or it'll be, like, a lesson I'll learn from you know, one of the things, but I'm trying to like embrace it and just be excited about the change and like the not knowing, but the reality is it makes me anxious. I will say because I'm anxious about it, one of my favorite quotes that I've been like thinking about a lot lately is like necessity is the mother of invention. So if shit hits the fan with any of those things I just mentioned, necessity is the mother of invention and I will figure the fork out. When I'm really, really spiraling and I want to feel a little bit of peace. I put things into perspective and just think about like, okay, I'm so grateful that I have my health, my parents have their health. There's way bigger issues and problems and things in the world. And the fact that I feel safe currently and feel healthy is such a blessing. That sometimes makes me feel better when I'm like spiraling or nitpicking about little things in my life, which like are important and are valid, but like at the end of the day, like there's things that are more important in life. And sometimes thinking about how small my issues are brings me peace. Does that make sense? I'm like, should I just start a car series? Because I'm like really digging like this vibe, this angle, and I love driving. Something about me is I get car sick really easily and I prefer to drive and I kind of get like passenger princess anxiety because not only do I get car sick, but I've been in the car a couple of times when other people have gotten in accidents knock on wood, but I've never gotten in an accident, so I would rather be in control versus other people being in control or like me being in their hands because anytime like someone breaks quickly or whatever, I'm like, <laughs> like it stresses me out. I just like being in control, I guess, which is ultimately why I'm probably stressed out because I'm like not in control with all the things that are happening in my life right now, which is okay. Like that's just how life is sometimes. And when life throws you lemon, you have the option to either make lemonade or complain and whine about it. And I'm the type of gal that wants to make lemonade. I'm a lucky girl. Things happen for me. They don't happen to me. The Dirty Forkers are lucky girls too. I saw this quote on Instagram the other day. My bestie, Terry Crews, <laughs> posted it with Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp is like an iconic sports reporter. He was like an NFL player as well. I love his reporting style and like his host and he has a podcast and Terry, my bestie, went on his podcast and they were like posting clips about it. I need to listen to the whole thing, but one of the clips struck a chord with me because whatever God says about you and you repeat it out loud, it sounds narcissistic. And whatever Satan says about you and you repeat it, it sounds realistic. And I was like, oh my God, that struck a chord with me. I do think that God, the universe, like whatever the fork you believe in, their plans for you are like way bigger and more insane than you could ever imagine to the point where like, if you said them out loud to other people, they'd probably laugh at you. Guys, I lost my Stanley that Hyundai gave me when I went to Shannon Ford's um, live show and I was her guest. I brought my Stanley cause I was like, okay, I wanna be hydrated. And I freaking left it at the venue and now it's like obviously gone and nowhere to be found. So I want to buy another sand. I'm trying to marinate on what color I want, but like also thinking about buying like a cup that's over $40 also seems insane. But like, I know firsthand it's worth it. Like I loved it. For me, I like am not a spender. I love saving. I'm a spender on experiences. I think I prefer podcasting later in the day. Today I'm podcasting at 3 p.m. Typically I've like recorded honestly at all times during the day, but I like that I feel like I've had like a whole day before this 
and I'm not like tired yet. I feel like it was if it were like 5 p.m. I would be tired, but I'm really liking this time because then I can actually have time to shower and like get my workout in. I'm honestly sad, you guys. Like I'm almost done with 75 hard and it's like making me sad because I love the structure of it and I think I'm definitely gonna continue a lot of the habits. I'm obviously probably not gonna do two workouts every day, but like walking on my walking pad is so easy and attainable, like and getting an additional workout a day. Getting a workout that's like outside of my house a day is like something I already do. So I'm definitely gonna keep as many of the habits as possible, but I'm not going to like continue the the actual challenge. Okay guys, just recorded a solo. I don't feel as exhausted. I think it's because I had a really hearty meal before, which I'm like, life has a hearty meal before I record because normally I'm like, oh, I feel like I can't even think after I record a solo. So yeah, I'm happy. Lexi really inspired me today. She like gave me a lot of advice and like motivated me for this podcast like episode. I hope that it resonates with you guys. If it's out before I upload this vlog, I'll link it. What the fork is going on with my kitchen? Let's clean this. Ew. Ew. I'm so high. I can have fun again. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, that's definitely not like perfect, but it's better than what it was. I love this bag, by the way. It's from Stony Clover. So cute. I am heading to the Land Rover dealership to decide what the fork I'm gonna do with my car. I'm either going to buy this car or get another car that is not a Range Rover or in the Land Rover family at all. But I don't know about any of that yet. So I'm just going to see what the options are. The one thing I know is that I don't wanna be paying more than my monthly rate right now for my car. My ideal scenario would be to keep it. Sorry, this is so shaky. So if I can buy this car and like have my monthly rate be about the same then like slay but if it's like way more expensive then I don't want to be like stupid with my money and I would rather get a less expensive car so other things I'm thinking about are like maybe like other cars that I like are Tesla's like I think it'd be cool to have a electric car I mean I love my Range Rover I love Land Rover I love the Defenders but the Defenders I think are more expensive than this car yeah there's like a bunch of options honestly some of this stuff kind of kind of makes me nervous sometimes because like I don't really know what the fork I'm talking about like when it comes to car stuff so I always have my dad on speed dial but if I could give any advice like I kind of tried to dress oh my dad's calling me hey what's what you need honey hey I'm on the way to the uh dealership yeah so I might call you like when okay. I'm there okay well, we're playing golf so I'll try to make if, you, if I don't answer I'll answer when I get back to the car I'll check my phone every okay. Time, okay are you um is there anything specific I should ask them or like say well, you've got to know how much it would be to buy out the car. Yeah. From the, just to buy it, and then uh, I guess that would be about it. I mean, you don't want to take, do the lease again, do you? Would they be able to tell me my monthly rate, or would that be from the bank? If yeah, I got a no, car they loan? could tell you. Oh, okay. They could tell you. That doesn't mean it's a good deal, just because it sounds good monthly. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. The big, big thing is how much they're charging you. Just get the numbers for me, and then we'll go from there. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay, there you have it, folks. <laughs> I feel like a daughter calling her dad when it comes to car shit is just like a universal experience that we all have. Why do they just know more about cars than us? And I know more about Air One in the Hailey Bieber smoothie than my dad does. So it's like we all have our things that we're knowledgeable on and bring to the table. I'm manifesting I can get a good rate. Manifesting a good rate. Manifesting a good rate. It's literally just a car. It's not that deep. It's so crazy doing this because I remember when I like bought my car or like I, you know, initially leased it and it was like such a huge milestone for me. And uh, it was like just such an incredible feeling. That was like my first like huge splurge on something and like honestly it was worth it this car has served me so well I've had it for three years and i've driven 17,864 miles she's going to look at my car right now and i'm freaking out because house laps lady kaka's makeup brand just stamped me i'm going to sauna it's called sauna lab in downtown la 
I feel like a beast in this outfit, honestly. I feel like Rocky Balboa, like you don't know what to expect from me. I look unassuming, but I'm forking not. I just had a cup of coffee, like why did I do that? But now I feel amazing, like life hack. I should probably bring this. So I'm gonna sweat out so much water. Let's fucking go, boys. Let's go. I literally have nothing to eat. I just have like random ingredients. So I was like, I wanna challenge myself because I don't wanna wait for groceries and I don't have time to grocery shop right now. So I was like, what I can make is protein pancakes, which I feel like I've made several times on my vlog. If like you want the recipe, I'll try and link the video below. Kodiak pancake mix with some protein powder. And then I add lemon. I'm going to add two eggs so I can get extra, extra protein. Just trying not to order food, which is really hard because I want to right now, but. Stick into my game plan. I also really, really, really need to like deep clean my apartment. What I'm trying to do is instead of like, like, okay, I need to deep clean, like just do a little bit. So this morning I did like a bunch of my packages and boxes and like trash. Oh, this was the Kodiak mix, by the way. So I'm just trying to do like a little bit every day instead of like being like, oh, I'll just clean it on Sunday. I had a pretty productive day today. I am a little nervous though because I've scheduled two girls to come help me film street interviews tonight on Hollywood Boulevard. Which I'm not even sure if logistically it will be possible to do. So now it's kind of like a thick consistency. So I'm gonna add some, kind of smells good. My intrusive thought is just wanting to eat that. Anyway, back to the street interviews. I've been wanting to do street interviews for a long time. And the reason being is because I want to build my hosting reel. If you guys didn't know, or you're new here, hi, how are ya? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get to 140,000 subscribers right now. So if you haven't subscribed yet, or you have a friend in mind that you think would like my videos, please send them my channel because I would be very grateful. I feel like we we can get to 140. Like the dirty forkers know that we can get to 140K. And maybe I'll just say this now, when we get to 140K, I'll do a giveaway of a bunch of PR. I wanna do like more giveaways and stuff that include you guys. I wanna be host for like a show, a radio. I don't care. I just want as much hosting experience as possible right now. I feel like I need to build my reel more. So like my hosting reel. So I am going to Hollywood Boulevard and going to try and ask people random questions. So I'm going to come up with random questions, poll questions and trivia questions, but I'm nervous because I've never done that before. And I'm not sure how it'll be logistically one because Hollywood Boulevard is just so chaotic to begin with, but the Oscars are happening this weekend and it's Thursday. So they're setting up right now. So I'm not sure if that's gonna fly, like me filming. Like where I wanna film is kind of where all the chaos of the Oscars is happening. We're just going to wing it. I've wanted to cancel like a gazillion times, but this is gonna be the worst time. It's only gonna go up from here and I just need to like rip the bandaid off and it's never gonna be like a perfect time to do it. So worst case scenario is I don't get any interviews done and I mean, you guys will hear about it, but no one else will and that's okay. I am very pro trying. If you want something, may as well try and go for it. And if you don't get it, who forking cares? Also, good things take time. You listen to my latest podcast episode, you know. By the way, you should totally listen to my latest podcast episode. It's a solo daddy. And I honestly love it, you guys. Like, I feel like it is inspiring in a good way, like not in a corny way. And if you're struggling with feeling like you're behind or lost in life right now, I definitely recommend listening to it. I just added a bunch of chia seeds. Sometimes when I add chia seeds, they like freak me out because they look like bugs, which is disgusting, but they're so good for you. I'm excited. I'm still going to go. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I'm thinking like something that doesn't have a logo on it, but also like still Still keeping it casual. Really want to cancel, but I know I need to do this. There's never going to be a good time. This feels so weird to be eating this right now, but whatever. And one thing I've been wanting to do in 2024 specifically is fully get back on my work grind. And like, I don't know, I used to schedule things like this all the time and like schedule it like almost as if it were a meeting, like it's really important and I have to go and I can't cancel. I feel like I got like to be transparent, just got a little comfortable with the whole, I work for myself. No one's gonna hand me my dream career. Like just because I work for myself now doesn't mean that it's gonna be 
in the slightest bit easy becoming a host. Does that make sense? So I'm just trying to do as much as I can. Go back to my roots because I used to like hustle and do shit like this all the time. And not to say that I haven't hustled or like still do shit like this, but I feel like I haven't like gone outside of my comfort zone in a while. I did last year. I was going to Venice Run Club. I like made a whole video about like doing some stuff that scares me. And I kind of want to make that like a series here on my channel, like doing shit that scares me. And like, this is definitely something that scares me. Looking good. This is the one that's already done. It looks really yummy. I'm going to taste test it. Normally I don't put like extra protein powder and this time I did. Mmm. Oh, I taste it. Ew. Okay, I'm just gonna have to douse that in like blueberries and syrup or something. <laughs> to make them more lemony, I'm just gonna add some of this true lemon, like pack it. It's like zero calories. It's basically like replicating a lemon wedge. I love putting these in like Diet Coke or drinks. Yum! The true lemon. Oh my God, you guys, my mouth is watering. The last remaining real blueberries I have. For not having like anything in my fridge, Pretty damn good. This is how it looks. And I'm just gonna take a little bite. I feel like this is one of those things that it's like, when you don't have food, you can always make protein pancakes. You know what I mean? If you just douse the lemon shit on them, you can't even taste the nasty protein. I kind of got like this cheap bad protein from the grocery store instead of ordering my normal protein from Amazon. Bad decision. Cause now I have this big ass thing of protein that sucks. I'm not really married to a protein powder though, so if you guys have any rec, let me know. Anderson. <laughs> Woo! I'm at Sliving Proof and I'm with Emily and I'm with Julia. This lighting is everything. And we are making, okay, thumbnail. And we're making TikToks right now because we decided we need to get our content on. And I just ordered a mocktail. I just like laughed really hard for like. I did too, that whole interaction was whole yeah. the, the, We were talking about DI. See, and spell the rest. The lighting is everything right here, though. Wow. We're debating on going out after, but like I literally look like this. No, it's perfect. You're not gonna wear this to catch. My future husband isn't going to find me in this. This is so you. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> this is so up. Uh... She said she wanted content. Oh, yeah. Hi, I am stealing the TK cam at the Paris Hilton House of Slivmas event. TK is in the middle of a combo. And I am stealing the cam. Love TK. Oh my gosh, she's Just the cheese. Oh, yeah. I came here with you. You did? Did I? No. <laughs> I edited a vlog. Right you here. edited a vlog of me here. Thank, Thank you. you. We literally 
<laughs> we're supposed to go to Barney's and we got too embarrassed because we have our slipping proof bags. So now we're at Dobrik's because that was the only thing we could find that was close enough for our Uber. We had to convince our Uber to drop us off. Get a photo and I'm gonna be like, Okay. <laughs> 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 so I ended up at Dobrik's. <laughs> and I'm gonna review this. <laughs> Delicious food. I also is a sign, yeah. <laughs> really nice guy. Thanks for your help. Absolutely, guys. Wait, what am I doing? This one. <laughs> Love him. It's really good, you guys. How's that? Really good. Tastes like AMC. Does it? Tastes like Nicole Kidman being dramatic. Yeah, it does. <laughs> She's <laughs> full! <laughs> I'm actually crying. <laughs> Let's get that in. Let's see. Who is that? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yes. I mean, we got a Finish the heart! Yes! Oh, oh. That was so us. <laughs> the overall review of the service is that it's like a 12 out of 10. The pizza is probably like a 2. Thanks for watching. I like the pizza. It's like Detroit style. Mm -hmm. It's like you can get this out of the Kind of. Yeah. Go live, y'all. <laughs> well, they're telling me they're like doing it for the live. I'm like, I'm not live. <laughs> for the live. They're pressing the button. Hey. <laughs> oh, yes. The service is amazing. Thanks for having us. I need. Mean, <laughs> I literally said thanks for having us. You did? I mean, they did have us. They... Get ready with me to record a bunch of street interviews in Los Angeles. <laughs> I'm so nervous, but also so excited. I know it'll be good. Like, I kind of was like freaking out about like what I'm wearing, what my hair is gonna be like, like whatever. And it's like, before cares, just go out there and do it. I'm trying to do more things that scare me in life because I just think it's good to put yourself out there because you never know what can come from it. I'm gonna go in with some Rare Beauty primer, which I've not used in a long time. It's a pretty decent primer. I guess like these are the things that are going through my head that like would prevent me from doing this. First I was like, oh, like what, who do I wanna have help me film? I'm basically hiring someone to help film me and then I'm hiring someone to help get me people to interview. So if like I'm interviewing someone and they come across someone that's really good that they think I should interview, like they will track them down and like help, I don't know, just like with the logistics of things. So that way I'm not like running around interviewing and trying to get people to interview, which like I probably will have to do eventually. But I was like, you know what? I kind of want to just hire someone to do this. I am charging my mics right now, which are like love mics. If I hate them, it'll be okay. And I can just use one of their phones, I guess, to like record the audio, but I don't know, we'll see. Or I could use my camera to film and then use my phone to record audio. I don't know. I kind of want to decide if I like want to eventually invest in like a mic. Like if these videos perform pretty well and I enjoy doing it, then I'll invest a bigger mic that I can like actually do this with because I think that's good practice for me. That's the thing about this that I keep telling myself is like at the end of the day, even if this is a flop or like they don't perform well or I have a bad time or whatever, like this is good practice. If I like say I want to be a host, like this is great practice for hosting. I think I'll enjoy it. Like I love being around people. I don't know why I'm also like stressed out about like what I'm wearing and like I want to be comfortable. Like, so I thought I would maybe wear this, but then I'm like, is that kind of corny to wear my own merch? But then I'm like, you know what? Logan Paul would. <laughs> and he is such a businessman. You will never catch him not wearing and promoting his own shit. And I'm like, maybe I should just wear that. Venice Boardwalk in Los Angeles. Like if you've never been, it is quite the scene. Let me tell you, it is like, it's so touristy, but it's like so crazy. Like you're almost like feel like you're in a different country. You're like, what is going on? Like what type of people are here but then there's like randomly like that's like low-key where the like normal straight guys live so it's like a combination of like stoner like surf guys like crazy insane people running around doing like tricks and stuff it's like a circus literally i'm like curious to see what questions 
perform the best. I feel like I can have a really good question in my head and it just like the answer is not what I wanted or vice versa. Like I feel like I have a flop of a question and then they like provide me with like an insane answer. So I'm not discriminating against any type of question. Like I'm gonna do trivia questions. I'm gonna do sports trivia questions. I'm gonna do entertainment, pop culture trivia questions. And then I'm obviously gonna do poll questions. And then like, I thought I wanted to do some like random, like feel good making moves as questions, which could be like, what's something you regret doing or what's something you wish you told your younger self? The type of questions I ask on my podcast. On my podcast, I always consider my listener and like you guys. And I'm like, what can make you feel motivated or educated or like entertained by? Like I, the podcast specifically, I want you to feel definitely like motivated and inspired and feel like you maybe learned something new. I want to try and like play around with those questions too because I don't know, I feel like sometimes people getting deep or giving advice can be really helpful to someone. And I'm like, maybe I could throw those up on my making moves TikTok, I don't know. Or maybe they're, that's the type of questions I ask. I have dating questions too, but like those are fun, but I don't know that that will be like really my niche, but I don't know, people in the polls love the dating questions. So we, we will see. What will be fun is when I post the clips on my TikTok, which you should definitely follow if you haven't already, I'll link it below. I will be able to put the poll like right on the video. So like all of you guys can vote while you're listening to what other people said, which is really fun. I just sprayed my face, so it probably looks wet, but this is the final look. Very simple, very chic, very me. Hi y'all, I'm at the Venice Boardwalk right now and interviewing a bunch of people, which has been really fun. I would say the hardest part is like, kind of getting people to interview. Like it is easy because we are in Venice, but I don't know, it's like hard getting a good juicy answer out of them because not everyone like wants to be on camera or wants to say something really insane. It is fun and I am enjoying it. I'm having a good time. Organic. Organic. Vegan From fruity. Philly. From Philly. Not dairy. Please tell them how it tastes. Fly equals fly. fly Please equals fly. fly. We, it kind of eats. I told you. It's really good. I told really you. Good? I'm really yeah. cold, but it's really good. There's no lie. What no. flavor is this? What, it's the pina colada cherry. Whoa. It's, it's mixed. Pina colada and cherry. That's the pina colada cherry? Yeah, cherry. Yeah. Pina colada cherry is a crazy combo. Yeah. yeah we have we, we have more. We have the mango, mambo mango. Mambo Shout mango. out to Kobe Bryant. Okay. Rest okay. in peace. Love you know Kobe. Sour blueberry, serpent, sour blueberry. Serpent, uh, serpent, serpent, sour blueberry. Serpent, 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 serpent,